All right, hello everyone, Rob here with Scrappity.com, and in this video we're going to show you how you can, uh, you know, knock out this project here, or alter the, the text on here so that you can make your own wedding invitations uh, using this Make It Now project, okay? Now, if you seen the computer version it's it's very much the same on the iPad with just a few different tweaks on it okay and, and trying to find out and navigate where these uh, tweaks are okay so let's go ahead and get started first I, I want to uh, clear my design space area and uh, I'm gonna make room so that I can edit some text as well as you know move this paper to some other location now obviously you can see that my text is stuck to this rectangle and how can I get this text off there so I can alter some of the text well this is what you're gonna need to do uh, if you look at your layers panel we can see that it's an attached set so how do we get an attached set uh, to be detached well you detach it and that's found under the actions menu if you click on the actions menu you can click on the detach button what this will do is it will allow us to uh, separate all these things individually and I can go ahead and move this piece of paper to uh, to this location over here now the next problem that we have is we need to alter the text obviously you can't just click on the text and and change the letters individually what we're gonna have to do is start fresh uh, you know maybe alter a few things here and there to make it fit our needs in this video I'm not going to go over uh, you know I'm not gonna change all these paragraphs but I'm gonna show you the technique and and how you can get that going if you saw our previous video you know that uh, the font that was used here was cake basic and that's what we're going to need to use so uh, to add text we click on the text button and I already have the filter set up here I just started typing in cake and cake basics showed up so I'm gonna go ahead and select it when I select it uh, we are prompted to type so I'm gonna go ahead and lock in the capital letters here for Jane Doe J A N E space D O E and there we go I'm gonna go ahead and close my keyboard and you can sort of see that uh, we're getting close but it's not a writing style now this is where it gets a little bit tricky if you haven't used the iPad to change this to a writing style some folks will think that automatically you just go to the layers and you go ahead and scroll all the way to the selected item and you wanna change it to a to a writing style and this is where we we sort of fail because when we click on write we can see that it just makes it bubble letters okay and that's not what we want so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to cut and where you alter the writing style at is under the edit menu so you click on edit and now you can see the style button and you can now change it to writing and that is where we can get uh, get the name anyway then all we have to do is size it now something that I will uh, bring focus to here is that lock right here we do want to keep that locked so that we can constrain proportions when we are uh, sizing things up alright so th there we go we have the we have the top text and to remove this we're gonna have to select the Sophie Sophie Clark here and then we're gonna go ahead and click on the X there and that just removed it now we can drag Jane up here place her where she needs to be alright and then we can go ahead and move this a little may have to zoom in to get things uh, right so go ahead and resize this just a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and move this and as you can see we get little guidelines to let us know when we got things lined up which is the the snap line so anyways you got things all lined up time to zoom out you got all your text all edited the way you wanted and now it's time to select this alright let's go ahead and select it and the thing I want to do with this is I want to group it so that's under the actions and I click on group so now uh, you know although it's not fused together it is grouped together nicely so that I can select the paper so I can select the paper 
and then I can tap hold select this and now I can go ahead and use some of my edit features over here and I can align them and I'm gonna go ahead and align them based on the center so there we go and the next thing we need to do is we need to go under the actions menu to attach it and that looks like a little paper clip and we attach and then that's it we, we click make it and that's how we can accomplish this task inside of the iPad using that same project so hopefully it wasn't too confusing for you um, you know it's just a few little button pushes here and there on the iPad that uh, makes it a little different compared to the PC alright so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up thumbs up and we'll see you next time